Hello, everyone. This is Wally Kern with Supreme Gecko, and here are four purchases of isopods we made this past weekend at the Sewerfest Reptile Show. This is the very first episode of the isopod vlog, and we welcome you to this new series. These purchases were made from Brittany Wetland, the isopod chick. It turned out to be a great experience, and I just wanted to show you this unveiling of these four uh, isopods. Here's the typical setup that I'll be using for uh, normal uh, purchases of isopods. Their new setup, a couple of pieces of wood. We have some sphagnum moss. Uh, we have a mix of, of uh, peat moss and dirt and a couple of other products as a substrate. Uh, what I do is I, I make this wet before putting in the isopods. Here's the very first isopod, Armadillidium parasia. And I'm sure that I'm going to butcher these uh, names. You can see that the uh, container doesn't have an ID, uh, and I, I wish that uh, all uh, containers had ideas, IDs. So if you sell animals or isopods or any other uh, item, make sure that you put IDs on these. But I just wanted to mention this uh, packaging was just absolutely perfect. Uh, I, I kind of spilled the isopods, but um, I put them out into the uh, sphagnum moss gently first and then just spilled the container. So no harm, no foul. Just kind of mixing up the the uh, container and looking for the isopods to make sure everybody's okay. Uh, the, the packaging had these very unique gel balls, uh, I think just to hold the moisture. I don't think that it was a real benefit to the isopods as well, but here you can see the isopods. They have a, this just really unique skirt to them. Uh, just beautiful animals. This next isopod is Armadillidium corsarium. And I, again, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but just a really, really cool little little isopod. It's a jet black body with ye little yellow spangles on the sides. Very cool looking. Again, no ID, but I, I do know that the, that's what this animal is. Normally, this is a, a slower moving isopod, but you can see that they're very lively here, moving around quite a bit. Again, I just absolutely love the colors of this isopod. Let's go ahead and put them in their new enclosure. Be a little bit more gentle this time. And in they go. I'm gonna go ahead and move around the uh, additions to the deli cup here to, to make sure that they're doing okay. And you can see them wandering around looking at their new, new enclosure, their new digs. You can just see how beautiful these these little isopods are. I'm certainly hoping that they settle in nicely and start reproducing for us. And on to our next isopod. This is the third of the uh, four different isopods that we purchased at the uh, Sewerfest show. And here I'm going to go ahead and dump them out. And uh, I'll, I'll tell the name in just a second, but uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, go through this, this material to make sure that we can find them. And you'll see how beautiful these isopods are. This is, iso this is a Porcelio ornatus high yellow. Take a look at those colors. Just unbelievable. Little, little bumblebees. These are so beautiful, I decided to use this uh, isopod as an example for our new uh, uh, YouTube uh, image. Love the high yellows and uh, the, the contrasting dark colors on the, these uh, little isopods. Very active. Uh, again, I, I ordered 10 of these isopods. I hope they settle in uh, fairly quickly and start reproducing for us. Can't wait to see the variations of their their colors here. You can see that they're they're getting used to their new homes pretty quickly. Take a look at those colors. This unbelievable contrast between that black and yellow. I think that's what I love most about these isopods is the varying degree of their colors. You can see why we used uh, this specific isopod for our logo.
And here's the fourth isopod that we purchased. We actually purchased this isopod before the other three in a an auction that uh, Brittany had uh, put on the, uh, Facebook. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the back half of this isopod, this specific isopod, is a little bit lighter colored. That means that it's uh, going through a molt. They uh, molt one half of their bodies at a time. You can see the different uh, uh, specimens that I purchased. This is, was a group of 10. Uh, I think Brittany sent over 11 instead. Thank you, Brittany. This is Porcelio uh, Magnificus. Very, very large uh, isopod. The uh, animals that uh, Brittany sent over are a nice uh, size. I really appreciate the size comparisons here. And here they're getting used to their new home. Kind of checking things out. There's the uh, the one that molted, is molting. Looking for a little hiding space. I think it's going to take off on us and hide. Quickly scampering over the wood. Bye-bye, little isopod. And thank you, everyone, for watching our very first episode of Isopod Vlog.